and raw. Welcome to the new caveman video show. Many have heard of the famous paper-like screen protector for the iPad Pro that supposedly makes writing and drawing on the iPad feel like on paper. However, is the protector from paper-like truly the best paper-like solution out there? I was almost set on buying the paper-like screen protector. It was all over my YouTube feed. Almost everyone on YouTube was sponsored and giving their reviews on it. Paper-like seems to have secured its place as the king of this category. Before I gave in to my impulse purchase, I made a last-minute effort to research more on paper-like and this was what I found. Finding number one. People could not tell the difference between a cheap $1 matte screen protector and the $33 paper-like option. So, I deduced that it is not really any different from any other matte screen protector for the purpose of providing a paper-like texture. This could simply be a case of good marketing. Finding number two. I found a few users recommending the Helicom paper-like screen protector instead. They described the paper-like texture as rougher and there was better clarity in comparison. Upon checking the prices, the Helicom costs about $22.99 for one piece only, while paper-like costs $33 for a two-piece set. So technically, it is more costly than paper-like. Since people commented that there is no difference between paper-like and a $1 protector, I figured out that I do not want to be overpay and so decided to try Helicom instead, a brand name that I am familiar from the backpacks they produce. I have never been good at installing film screen protectors. I have a few visible dust particles stuck the first time round and I had to redo again. Luckily, I managed to get rid of the dust completely with tape the second time round. If a clumsy person like me is able to install the screen protector, I believe anyone else can do it. The Helicom indeed provides much more clarity than all my previous matte screen protectors. I do not think that it is a big compromise on videos and movies when using it. Under reflected lighting, you do not see rainbow effects like other typical matte screen protectors. This alone confirms my purchase. As for the texture, the Helicom is rough, very rough. The texture feels like an art drawing block paper to the touch. So rough that it leaves a trail of my skin cells when I trail my finger across the screen. Despite my exaggeration, it was not uncomfortable at all. The touch experience was still as smooth and did not require getting used to. Writing and drawing experience on the iPad Pro feels super elevated and enjoyable now. I'm totally enjoying the feedback of my pencil against the screen now. I'm so inspired that I went to complete a drawing the very night I installed the Helicom. In conclusion, the Helicom paper-like screen protector was exactly what I wanted. A screen protector that provides the pencil on paper experience but without compromising the screen clarity much. Granted, it is the most expensive one out there by value. but. I do think it is a worthy investment. I truly think that it is worth the cost and it is definitely the best matte screen protector I've ever installed on an iPad. So please comment if you have any other paper-like screen protectors that you recommend. Please share my video if you have found it useful. Click the subscribe button for more. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.